in the realm where nostalgia reigns and distant echoes of the past dance gracefully with the present. There exists a treasure trove of memories, waiting to be unearthed by the curious minds of wanderers. Imagine a flickering screen, a time capsule that effortlessly transports you to an era where superheroes soared and villains plotted their wicked schemes with theatrical flair. It was in 1988 that the TV series Superboy graced our screens, a gem hidden among the constellations of entertainment. Do you recall that very first encounter? The feeling of wonder as you embarked on a journey through time and space, guided by the exploits of a young man of steel. Perhaps it was the vibrant colors or the infectious optimism of those early episodes that etched themselves into your memory. Or maybe it was the rush of adventure, the thrill of witnessing Superboy's heroic acts as he embraced his destiny, donning the iconic cape and symbol that would come to represent hope. As you delve into your mental archives, don't be surprised if a montage of scenes starts to play. The rush of wind against your face as Superboy takes flight. The crackling tension between hero and villain, and the unmistakable feeling of rooting for the underdog. Those fleeting moments, frozen in time, are the essence of why Superboy became a beacon for many, a testament to the power of storytelling and the indomitable spirit of heroism. Now, let's journey beyond the surface, shall we? Tidbits that might have slipped through the cracks, like finding kryptonite hidden in plain sight. Did you know that the show's depiction of Superboy's college years introduced a fresh angle to the character's evolution? How about the behind-the-scenes magic that made those super feats seem so effortlessly real? These intricacies, these random gems, illuminate the hidden layers that make Superboy a classic worth revisiting. So there you have it, a tapestry of memories woven by the threads of time waiting for you to unravel and relish. Take a moment to journey back to that era to savor the sensation of discovery and connection that Superboy brought to your life. It's not just about the capes and the powers, but about the essence of a hero's journey, the growth, the challenges, and the unwavering commitment to making the world a better place. And now, as you stand at the crossroads of memory and curiosity, it's time to dive deeper into the annals of trivia and facts about this beloved series. Prepare to be amazed, for there's always more than meets the eye, waiting to be uncovered. Unraveling Dimensions, the enigmatic journey of Superboy's existence in the ever-evolving tapestry of television, the 1988 series Superboy dared to forge its own unique path, leaving an indelible mark on DC lore. Amidst the turbulence of comic book adaptations, this show grappled with a perplexing narrative dance, ultimately redefining the dimension of its titular hero. At the heart of this saga lies a tale of intergenerational connections. Greg Morris, an accomplished actor, found himself woven into the inaugural season of Superboy. Remarkably, his son, Phil Morris, would later grace the screen as none other than the Martian Manhunter in the acclaimed Smallville. This familial symmetry added an extra layer of intrigue to the series' already complex narrative. However, the most captivating twist sprung forth from the shadowy annals of continuity. The deletion of Superboy from the established DC fabric posed a conundrum, particularly in relation to the Legion of Superheroes continuity. A masterstroke was unveiled, Superboy hailed from an alternate dimension, masterfully sculpted by the enigmatic Time Trapper. This ingenious stratagem granted the series both autonomy and relevance. Yet, the temporal intrigue didn't stop there. Astonishingly, the pilot episode, titled Superboy, Countdown to Nowhere, defied convention by claiming its spot as the fifth episode in the broadcast sequence. This audacious maneuver not only exemplified the creator's willingness to defy norms, but also set the tone for a series that embraced the uncharted. However, Superboy's enigmatic existence didn't solely rest within the realms of alternate dimensions and chronological anomalies. A year preceding the show's airing, the character met his fate, adding an intriguing layer of irony to the unfolding narrative. The audience, aware of the hero's ultimate destiny, bore witness to his exploits with an augmented sense of poignancy. In the annals of television history, Superboy occupies a unique position. Its audacious navigation of dimensions, continuity, and timing captivated audiences and cemented its place as a pivotal moment in superhero storytelling. As the years roll on, its legacy continues to ripple through the tapestry of DC adaptations, leaving an indelible mark on the ever-expanding multiverse. Rejected pitch leads to iconic teen hero, the evolution of Superboy in the annals of comic book history. The emergence of legendary characters often conceals intriguing tales of rejection and rediscovery. 
Such is the case with the beloved figure of Superboy, whose inception dates back to the creative mind of Superman's co-creator, Jerry Siegel. Unveiled in the bustling pages of More Fun Comics 101 in 1945, Superboy surged onto the scene, carving his own niche in the pantheon of caped crusaders. In a twist of fate, Siegel's initial pitch for a juvenile incarnation of the Man of Steel had been met with indifference not once, but twice. In November 1938, Detective Comics, publisher of the nascent Superman, shelved Siegel's brainchild, dismissing it in favor of the burgeoning popularity of young champions like Batman's spirited sidekick, Robin. It wasn't until years later, as the tides of taste shifted, that Superboy was granted his moment in the limelight. The tale takes an unforeseen turn when examining the casting choices that brought Superboy to life on the small screen in 1988. John Newton, the inaugural actor to don the mantle of the youthful hero, found his tenure curtailed by a combination of off-screen events and on-set considerations. Newton's arrest for driving under the influence set the stage for his departure after the inaugural season. It was later revealed that his contract bore a moral clause, exposing the actor to the repercussions of his actions beyond the studio walls. However, reports surfaced that more than legal matters influenced the changing of the guard. Murmurs persisted that producers harbored reservations about Newton's performance and his audacious bid to secure a salary increase. With a need for a replacement and a chance for renewal, the production tapped Gerard Christopher to carry the legacy forward. An intriguing facet lies in Christopher's own age at the time of his debut, a noteworthy divergence from other actors who would later portray Superman. At 30 years old, Christopher found himself older than the likes of Christopher Reeve, Dean Cain, Brandon Routh, Henry Cavill, and Tyler Hoechlin when they undertook their inaugural flights as the iconic superhero. This reversal of the age dynamic lent a fresh layer of complexity to the portrayal, blending youthful exuberance with the seasoned gravitas of experience. In the tapestry of television history, the Superboy series of 1988 emerged as more than a mere depiction of a familiar hero. It echoed the intricate paths of creation, adaptation, and evolution, and in doing so, carved its own distinctive mark in the legacy of comic book adaptations. Gerard Christopher, the actor known for his portrayal of Superboy in the 1988 TV series, took an unusual turn in the world of entertainment merchandise. He personally hawked VHS tapes and DVDs of the show's episodes on his website. Notably, Christopher held the master tapes of all the episodes where he donned the iconic red and blue costume. In a unique move, Christopher directly engaged with fans, offering them a chance to own a piece of Superboy history. However, this enterprising venture came to a halt when Warner Brothers stepped into the ring, acquiring the rights and subsequently releasing official DVD sets. Christopher's personal sales ceased, marking the end of his independent distribution era. The passing years have witnessed intriguing connections between Superboy and other Superman-related projects. Gilbert Gottfried, recognized for his distinctive voice, later lent his vocal talents to the villain Mr. MX Ziptlekin Superman, the animated series. This unexpected crossover of talent bridged two distinct iterations of the Superman universe, leaving an indelible mark on both shows. But the Superboy saga wasn't without its legal battles. The series met an unfortunate demise due to a lawsuit filed by Warner Brothers against the Salkines, the original holders of the Superman film series rights. The Salkines had previously leased these rights in the 1970s and produced the initial three films, ultimately selling them to canon, Gollum Globus Productions, which released Superman IV, The Quest for Peace. Warner Brothers claimed priority in bringing the beloved superhero to the small screen. This legal dispute reached its conclusion through settlement, leading to the rights officially reverting to Warner Brothers. Regrettably, the show has not graced North American reruns since, though a DVD release of its inaugural season emerged in 2006, offering fans a tangible relic of the Superboy legacy. In the realm of Superboy's intricate history, Gerard Christopher's entrepreneurial spirit, the voice of Gilbert Gottfried, and the legal skirmish with the Salkines stand as testaments to the multifaceted journey of this iconic 1988 TV series. Its impact endures, a testament to the captivating allure of the Man of Steel's early days.
the first weekly TV series produced at Disney, MGM Studios, Superboy Sunshine State Sojourn in 1988. The small screen was graced with the arrival of Superboy, a series that aimed to unveil the untold tales of the iconic Man of Steel during his youthful years. Amidst its capes and action, the show bore a fascinating behind-the-scenes journey that rivaled even the exploits of its titular hero. Breaking new ground, Superboy became the pioneer, marking the inception of the first weekly TV series to emerge from the then freshly minted Disney, MGM Studios in Orlando, Florida. This bold venture nestled within the studio's sprawling confines, infusing a breath of Floridian air into Superman's mythos. Its inaugural two seasons unfolded within the hallowed halls of Shuster University, a fictional institution that paid homage to the dynamic duo behind the original superhero, Joe Shuster and Jerry Siegel. At the heart of the academic domain was the Siegel Center, a building christened in honor of the very architects who bestowed the world with the enduring legacy of Superman. The series' sophomore chapter saw a swift relocation, traversing several miles down Interstate 4 to find a new home at the sprawling Universal Studios Florida. Amidst the imposing sound stages and bustling sets, Superboy continued its tale as the first weekly television product to grace Universal's illustrious roster. As the cameras rolled and the actors breathed life into their characters, Superboy cemented its place as a pioneering force in television history, an emblem of creativity taking root in the Sunshine State. The series offered a compelling glimpse into the early years of a superhero destined for greatness while etching its own mark in the annals of entertainment. And so, the capes were hung, the cameras ceased their dance, but the legacy of Superboy lives on. A story not just of superheroes, but of the studios and creators who dared to push boundaries and carve their narratives into the very fabric of pop culture. As we bid adieu to the enchanting world of Superboy, we find ourselves not just witnesses, but active participants in the tapestry of time. The echoes of metropolis streets, the crackling of villainous schemes, and the soaring flights of heroism have ingrained themselves into the very fabric of our memories. This 1988 TV series, like a time capsule, holds not just episodes, but a treasure trove of emotions, aspirations, and nostalgia. As we reflect upon the adventures shared with Superboy, we are beckoned to delve into our own personal connection with the series. Perhaps it's the way those characters felt like friends, their struggles like our own. Maybe it's the nostalgic scent of popcorn and the anticipation of a new episode every week. Or, just maybe, it's the realization that even in the realm of superhuman feats, it's the human heart that truly matters. Your journey with Superboy is a unique tale, interwoven with your own experiences and sentiments. We encourage you to share your cherished memories, your thoughts that ignited like sparks while watching each episode. Did you cheer at every victory, empathize with every setback? or secretly wish to be a part of Superboy's world. Your reflections add yet another layer to the captivating legacy of this remarkable show. In a world where time seems to fly as fast as Superboy himself, let's take a moment to pause and relive those moments. As you share your insights, you not only contribute to the collective memory, but reignite the fervor that made Superboy an unforgettable part of your life. Thank you for allowing us to journey through time and memory with you. Your time and interest are invaluable, and we are honored to have been a part of this reflection. Until we meet again to explore new realms of thought and imagination, keep your memories alive, and your heart ready for the next adventure. Stay super.